Thank you for joining me, World of Warships Legends. This is Crazy Man. Today we're playing with the premium tier eight Schroeder. Like I say in all my videos, I don't promise high damage. I am not gonna promise I'm gonna win. I just promise I'm gonna do my best. That being said, uh wish me luck. And yes, we'll go over the commander built and, and his stats after this uh, video. Yeah, I got a lot to say about this ship. Uh, it's not one of my favorite Germans. Let's, I'll at least go that far right now. This might be a very short game. If it is, I do apologize. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to do my best.
on fire. Main turret critically damaged. Well, that's one way you get some damage. <laughs> I know that was a sneaky thing to do. But I did tip the tide for my team. You know, uh, anyways, uh, I goofed up on something. I'll let you know what I did. But anyways, we finished the jet, uh, game with uh, 98,750 total damage. Not too bad. Uh, 41 hits, uh, 107 secondary hits, 3 kills, 1 flood, 1 fire. Uh, yeah, I kind of can see this. Uh, I was going to get wrecked in either way, you know. I uh, had uh, another battleship right there, and you can see there's another cruiser right there. And, uh, yeah. But I did turn the tide into our favor, so that's all that matters. Anyways, let's get to the uh, upgrades, and, and I'll tell you what I did. I messed up. First commander is Hyde. Inspiration is Haruna and Fritz von Hipper. And uh, you see the stat, uh, what I picked out. He is legendary maxed. Um, let's go to the upgrades and stuff. And uh, I'll show you what I did, but there's a reason. Secondary battery mod 2. Steer gear mod two and concealment system mod one and main battery mod three. You go to loadouts and you can pick some things. I I recommend keep sonar. You got defensive AA fighter. You really don't need it. But I kept the sonar and engine boost. I should have swapped it out with this, but I didn't. Um I recommend if you go for this belt, I would swap the engine boost out for this one. But then again, the engine boost does come in handy if you need it. And you got four heals with the belt I have with Hyde. And uh, yeah, let's go here. With Hyde's belt, your your hit points are up to sixty-two thousand eight hundred sixty. Um, let's go. Oh, sorry. We'll go here. Um, with the cruiser built, you're going to get it up probably 17, 18 kilom kilometers fire range. And I'll let you go over this. Over this. And then we're going to have a quick discussion. And we won. And we're going to AA. Like I said, you don't really need that uh, one because you got a great AA defense as is, 91%. Um, oh, I did it again. Maneuverability. A little bit of slow slide and rudder shift is a little uh, slow too. I think this could be buffed. Let's just say this whole ship needs to be buffed. Um, then you can seal it. Now, I've only played two games with this. And uh, one was in Arena Battle, which I should have just kept it and put it out. Uh, this one, though, is my first game with it. And that's my score right now. Now, yes, I kamikaze this ship. Uh, I would have been focused on sooner or later and been taken out of the game. 
So I did what I did in RAM. This thing needs a buff. And see, I'm more, I like to use him. And this is what I use in arena battle. And let's go over it real quick. Your hit points, normal for a cruiser. Okay, it is 18.1 kilometers. You got a little bit quicker reload time. You can hit harder with this if the AP shells did what it's supposed to. Oh, I'll let you look over. Uh, your A defense, still the same, still good. Your maneuverability is better. And your rudder shift time is better. Concealment still safe. Now, the problem is with using with Carl Von Miller, the, shell, the main guns, do you remember when the Bismarck first came in and we first got it? And this, this kind of reminds me of it. The accuracy of the main guns were all over the place. Well, this is like the miniature of that. It reminds me of the miniature Bismarck. It, the accuracy, the grouping of the main batteries are, they really suck. Um, it, it needs a buff there. It needs a buff in the penetration and AP shells when you're in this. Um, a, little, a little bit of a buff, not much. Those are the two main areas. The grouping of the shells and that would be great and maybe a buff and maybe rudder shift a little bit. Is it a good ship? It can be. Um, it's, like I said a long time ago, I do love the German line. I have good games with the destroyers, cruisers, uh, battleships. This is the one in reception. I, I want to like it, but I know it needs some buffs. I really do know that. And maybe we'll get them, maybe we won't. But uh, yeah, but anyways, like I said, it does need a buff. It needs a buff in the main batteries, like I said, the grouping, uh, the penetration of the AP shells, and a little bit maybe on the HE, a little bit more. Because I think with this build, you got better chances of a, uh, HE on this section. Okay. I was wrong, but just some penetration. That's it. But anyways, uh, that's all I have right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I kamikaze it at the end. Hey, what can I say? You got to do what you got to do. Anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button. Leave comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.